studio with more on that. John? Well, there are hundreds of kids in Nevada fighting to stay in this country. Most of them say they're fleeing gang violence, but last week they learned those threats are not enough to get them to America. It changes everything, um, especially for the kind of cases that we do. I mean, a I think the first thing that went through my mind, I think all of us, is people are going to die because of this. We first told you about a kid named Kevin weeks ago. Kevin is 16, from Honduras, living by himself. He was threatened by gangs. Join or die. Kevin ran. With nothing to his name, he took off for America, away from violence towards what he thought was a place to start over. In the middle, a months long journey that almost took his life. Me sentí bien porque... It felt good. I got here alive and I didn't lose the foot or hand, so I felt that I was lucky. Even though you encounter people on the way who want to do things to you, I was lucky enough to make it. Kevin made it. He got picked up by Border Patrol, shipped to Las Vegas where a woman said she'd care for him, and he became a statistic. Kevin is one of the more than 1,000 kids now fighting deportation in our state since the first of the year. That fight got a lot harder last week. If you cross the border unlawfully, then we will prosecute you. It's that simple. Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced that threats of gang violence or domestic violence are no longer arguments for asylum. If your life is in danger, don't look here. Kevin's reason for running is not enough. Attorneys Laura and Mayra with UNLV represent 160 asylum seekers. Under this directive, are almost all or all of these clients affected by this decision from session? Yeah, absolutely. It's going after women and children, women that are victims of domestic violence and children who are being persecuted by gangs. Here's what the session's announcement did. If you come to America for asylum saying the gang is threatening to kill you at home, you have to prove it. Prove that you went to police or the government and prove they told you they cannot help you. But here's the problem. In most countries, it's not as easy as calling 911. You can't just call the police and they show up to your emergency. You have to go to the police, um, the police station and make that report. And then it's very common um, for there to be informants or people bribing the police. So they know who reports crimes. To make it harder, the vast majority of people don't have an attorney, including kids which means you have situations in Las Vegas where a child who does not speak English has to provide documented proof of a threat of violence and that they tried to get help in their home country. You're talking about someone who needs to get country conditions, they need to get doc documentary evidence that can prove what they're saying, letters from family members who know what happened to them, uh, all coming from a country where they don't speak English, mm -hmm. nothing's gonna be written in English, and they can't produce anything to the court unless it's in English. So they have to get all these things translated while they're in detention, gather all this evidence, and be able to submit it to the court. It's, it's almost an impossible task. And a lot of these kids are kids. Yeah. yeah. For Kevin, well, we have an update. He was denied asylum. He's still fighting through family court to see if that woman can sponsor him while he lives and goes to school here. As for the others, the rule of law rules. Word from the Trump administration so powerful, they back it up with the word of God. I would say, you to the Apostle Paul and his clear and wise command in Romans uh, 13 to obey the laws of the government because God has ordained, ordained the government for his purposes. Yeah, this policy is going to affect immediately the separation of kids, also having an effect on the court system here. We're told they're seeing a dramatic increase in the number of kids by themselves in the court system here. Wow, wow, all those images can be heartbreaking. Right. Criticism is growing. The White House not backing down on this. And no, they sp spoke out today. They're saying they're simply following the law as they promised voters it would do. There was a very testy briefing today with the press. You'll hear more about that at 630. All right, thanks so much.